guys, what the heck is up? I'm back and better than ever. And in today's video, um, I'm gonna be talking a bit about starting your own YouTube channel. I started on YouTube originally filming Rainbow Loom tutorials, but then someone commented your face looked weird at the end and I was really insecure and I like deleted the whole video and like all those videos and stuff. Then I started another channel and I would post, so this is like, Five years ago, I filmed in my iPod products I regret buying. I was so little. I did a quick swatch of this and blend it in. It's kind of hard to see, but it is full of sparkles. The point of me saying all that is I've been on YouTube for a while. I'm not consistently, you know, quite a bit about YouTube, I would say. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk about if you want to start a YouTube channel, some few basic things slash what I used to film and edit my videos. There's many different ways you can make YouTube videos. I started off videos actually on my phone. I did some vlogs and stuff. YouTube, there was like some like YouTube filming app that I used and like it made it really shaky. I don't know, it was really bad quality. And then once I got into it, I had this little film camera loop that like had a flip thing. Currently, the camera I use now is my Canon. Rebel T5i which I've had for almost five years because I filmed one video with this camera on that channel and then I stopped making them. Honestly, I vlogged on my iPhone though that quality is really good. Almost nowadays everyone has an iPhone that you can just film on and they have iMovie to edit on too. So it's really easy honestly. Focus on it. I don't think you're going to be doing it for a while. Don't waste a lot of money buying a camera and lighting and all this stuff. You can just do it on your phone, edit on the app. It comes with iMovie. I use iMovie to edit. I use it on my laptop. Starting a YouTube channel is a great creative outlet and a way to get your ideas and thoughts out to the world. But yeah, for me, I currently use iMovie. Um, I use my Canon Rebel T5i. Um, I have a tripod here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. It's just from Amazon. I had another one, but it broke. My lighting equipment, um, I have a ring light that is also from Amazon. I use my MacBook because it has iMovie and I just have a MacBook for school. And I just use iMovie to edit on there. And then I just upload it to YouTube. So very simple. I only have my tripod, camera, ring light, iMovie. Now, when you're starting off a big, big, big thing, because I used to film all the time, and my lighting in the videos were not the best. So I recommend lighting. Natural light is the best. If you don't have natural lighting, a ring light. Because for me, it is cloudy as heck outside. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. I'm gonna turn my ring light off. That's the difference with turning on my ring light. Who wants to watch a video with me looking like this? This is so sad. Well, now I can't turn it back on. <laughs> you guys can tell the lighting is a huge, huge, huge thing when filming. When you're starting a YouTube channel, these are a few tips, and then I'll show you guys, like, actually the equipment I'm using. So when starting a YouTube channel, it's super easy. You just go on the website, blah, 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 pick a name, picture, whatever, a little, like, wallpaper cover but when filming a big thing is do things you're interested in especially if your videos are heavily editing involved some of my videos I have to edit a lot and some of them like this I don't really have to edit because I'm just sitting there talking so I just have to like clip out things that I'm like what am I saying editing can take a long time and it can be stressful at sometimes and if you're editing a video you're like I don't even like this you're not going to want to do it. Second thing is when you're filming a big thing is lighting. Make sure you have good lighting. As you can tell, there could have been a big difference in my video. I don't, I don't need a ring light. I could go somewhere where the light is natural. Before I had a ring light, I got my ring light in November. I just went by my window because the lighting was good. And then the other thing I would say is stabilization. If you're vlogging, they have like little mini tripod. Actually, hold up. I'm going to show you guys. Even if you don't have a camera, you can still have a tripod. I got this tripod off. Amazon it's called UB's eyes it's good for um, like vlogging and stuff it's stabilization because if your video is shaky it's gonna be hard to watch and I know some people watching shaky videos it can actually make them dizzy so yeah now I'm gonna show you guys my equipment so basically I'm just gonna show you guys what everything looks like for those visual learners so this is the tripod I'm using um it just like collapses and stuff it can be really short see look at it. it's so cloudy out this is my ring light do, 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 do. Brace your, okay, I'm gonna turn that off because the lighting is really bright. So yeah, this is basically what my ring light looks like. It's literally a ring and it's a light. You can adjust the size and stuff. I got it from Amazon. So that was just a brief little glimpse of starting a YouTube channel and the equipment I use or equipment you guys can use if you have no idea 
where to start but yeah that was this video i hope you gained some sort of thing of how to start a youtube channel if you want me to do a video on how i edit my videos i will for sure do that give this video a like comment video across below and subscribe i hope you all have a great day thanks for watching